Hello everybody, welcome back to another brand new aviation jet video. I hope you're doing really, really well. So it's not a full flight video today, nor are we flying a flight today. Um, so today's video is like, a, not a tutorial, but it's more like a what I use type video. Um, so I thought I'd explain to you the very basics of what my sim, how I get my sim to look like the way it does, and how you can also replicate your sim to look like this. Um, that's if you want it, of course. You know, you might hate the way it looks, but... If you don't, because I, I do get asked quite a lot, you know, what uh, reshape preset you're using, can I have your reshape preset, and I always give it to everyone, but rather than me just having to give it to everyone, how about I just show you um, what, how you can get it otherwise, you know. Um, so yeah, so I'm using a new tool um, called RD Shade, it's made by the people over at RD Presets, so um, RD Shade is basically a little bit like reshade, except the, diff the main difference um, is that you can live edit how you want your sim to look. Now essentially what that means is that what you can do is um, you can change the way your sim looks um, by applying each tweak live in the simulator. So if you change, for example, the brightness, you could do that, press apply, it will reload the shaders right there and then and you'll see that difference. Rather than editing anything outside the sim and then going into it and then seeing how it looks then, you can do it right there on the spot and change it as much as you want. So if you want RD Shade, I believe it costs £19 off their website. Um, in actual fact, we can I can show you that right now. Uh, here we go, RD Shade. Um, so this is what I'm using to way, for the way that my sim looks right now. As you can see, there's a little video to show you what it looks like. Um, and I'll go more into it in a minute. So as you can see, it's €19, Euros, which probably is about £17 um, if you're from the UK. Um, I think it's a really, really great software. Um, I actually am using it and it I think it's changed the way my sim looks which is amazing so anyway let me quickly go into the sim and show you what I have going on so this is once you have it installed and you purchased it this is what you get given and this is the UI so customization as you can see there's so many different things to choose from to customize the way your sim looks so you have the lighting you have the clouds you have the sky the environment HDR PBR which is you know a a big one, PBR, um, others, and then also all your enabled tweaks here. This is everything I have enabled, which is like a lot, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, um, basically what I kind of want to say today was um, if you want to use my preset, I have uploaded it to the forum on RD Shade. Um, so you can download it. As you can see, I'm currently using the Aviation Jack um, preset, and that is what it's called. So if you want your sim to look like mine, please get the RD Shade preset. <laughs> um, because, you know, that is the only way. Um, however, even without it, um, I do use uh, Reshade as well. So, um, as, bear in mind, I've only used it since it's come out. So, um, before that, if you look at videos, if you look at my videos, like maybe two months before, um, one month, two months ago, you can see that um, I'm using Reshade and the Lucas Cavatoni preset. I'm still using that now, but with RD Shade on top of that. So, I'm kind of using both to make it look how I want it to look. Um, and live tweak it. So um, yeah, I mean, all I've done really is customize the brightness, customize the terrain, performance tweaks as that as well, which is a great. Um, PBR I've adjusted that as well, so it looks you know a bit more reflective, if it needed to be, which only only up to by a little bit. But um, yeah, so it's just I think it's just a great tool which you guys can use. Um, if you head to the internet and go to the RD Shade forum. Um, what you can do by clicking forum here once you go to downloads um here you go the downloads bit you can see everyone who has uploaded their rd shade preset if you go right 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 and you see the aviation jack preset here if you click that you can download this file and then you will basically install here we go you will install the aviation jack any file which to load you just press um preset open and then aviation jack or whatever you've downloaded it um, and that is the way to do it. Um, inside the description of this, I have said this preset is created by me, which resembles the way my sim looks. Uh, this preset adds color and life to the simulator, working best with the Lucas Cavatoni preset for reshade, which you can also download through RD presets. Um, also in the description, I've literally just updated it as well, um, which I changed, um, I lowered the brightness and PBR reflections a bit because it looks a bit too metallic for my likey. Um, and then also I have my current HDR settings through Chase Plane. So basically you can then replicate the way um, my sim 
my sim looks in brightness as well obviously each monitor is different so you might not have the exact same hdr setting settings as me but play around with that that's up to you um but that i'll put it in there just in case you wanted to know um i just noticed it said this type of file can harm your computer it will not harm your computer trust me um all i all i done was just save the preset that i made and uploaded it so um yeah it won't harm your computer at all um but yeah that is basically all i want to say and all i want to do just to show you um but that's basically it. And then also I've got a few screenshots, as you can see here, what my sim looks like. And if you want your sim to look like look like mine, download the file, get RD Shade. Or if not, you can always use um, you can always use the uh, reshade Lucas Cavatoni preset. Cause that's why I use anyway with that. So um, yeah, I hope this video helped you um, understand what how I get my sim to look the way it does. Um, what obviously what I can do um, is do a full settings video. Um, again, last time I've done that was in 2021, like February. So it has been a year and two months. So I might as well make another one because also I do change things over over time. So um, yeah, um, thanks all for watching. Not really a you know fun flight video, but it's informative for anyone who wants to know. Um, so yeah, I will see you all in a future video. Thanks for watching. All links will be in the description below. Bye bye.